Hey guys, welcome back to Judo Highlights. We'll just have a quick look at the highlights from day three at Austria. We're just going to go through the results because Toppy Pond's video is coming later tonight. So make sure you hit the bell and be ready for that one. So at under 90s, it was Silva who ended up taking gold. And now Silva, he has just been on the international stage for the longest time. What's with Cubans and having deceptively long careers? So 28 years of age, his first contest was at the Grand Slam in Paris in 2013, which was more than 10 years ago. Impressive stuff by Silva. And in the final, ends up getting two scores. Here's the counter here. Two Wazadis, so a gold medal for him. He was up against Mo Sakalashvili, competing out of Spain. Big technique here from one of his earlier contests. And then over on the bronze medals, Jabniashvili, he takes out Toth. Now Toth, I mean, he's someone just like Silva, been on the international stage for a very long time. I remember him fighting Iliadis back in the day. And then the other bronze medal went to Kuchman from Israel. Check out this nice Ochigari here. Kind of baited him into it. I think Florentino was trying Uranage and stuck the foot in there for the Ochigari. Moving on to under 100s and we'll talk about a little upset. In the first round, Mashiyama comes up against Boama from Algeria. And Mashiyama, he got destroyed in this contest. You can really see the physical size difference here. Buama just towering over Mashiyama and you can just see the physical difference. So two scores, the same technique gets it done. Now Mashiyama, I mean, he's had problems at under 90, missed weight once. He looked really good against Bakaudi one time, but I mean, missing weight for the Japan team, they've probably told him, no, you're not allowed to compete at under 90s ever again because we won't have you embarrassing us like that. So it's a hard place for Mashiyama. I think under 100's a bit too big for him. Anyway, talking about the results, Gonsalves, one of my favorites at under 100's, he ended up winning the thing. It was an all Brazilian silver medal contest. Gonsalves against Buzacarini, who went through to the bronze medal contest and ended up winning that one. Now, if you're a big guy at under 100's and you want to see someone who is in that weight class who has a good Seuinage, it's Buzacarini. He always pulls out a really nice Seuinage every tournament. So great bronze medal by him. Now Gonsalves ended up meeting Fonseca in the final, took it to him. And I'm really happy for this win for Gonsalves because I do think he is a really good judoka. Go check out his other matches. Really skilled guy and a great win for him. A silver for Fonseca. He's another guy at under 100s who has a really impressive Seuinage. Now the other bronze medal contest, it was a bit of back and forth. Both guys getting wazadis on each other. Here's a Soto Makikomi by Madsen. So wazadi a piece into the golden score. And then Bola, he just pulls out this massive technique. Have a look at this. Big Uranage. And I gotta say that was head diving. Clear head diving, no guys? Sorry, that's a joke from last week. Getting Hansokomake for head diving with an Uranage. Kind of funny, I think. Up to the big boys now. And Kropelik doing his thing. Just really consistent at this weight class. I think he's probably going to compete at plus 100s for Paris. It's pretty crazy how he can still make the weight for under 100s. And then still compete with these big guys at plus 100s. And dominate. It's really incredible. Now this win here gets it with a Sumigaishi. Now if you have a look in this other contest. This Sumigaishi attempt here. Clearly just to go in for the entry for the Nawaza. So I think he should have been penalized here. But the ref thought nothing of it. And then watch what he's doing on the elbow here. He was trying to get a sweep on the one side. It wasn't happening. So he turns it in the other direction. Was looking for a bit of a joint lock on the elbow. But just turns it into Osaikomi. And Kripalik, I mean, his Osaikomi is absolutely smothering. In the semifinals, he was up against Tushisvili. Now, I didn't like this score at all. So Kripalik goes for an Osoto. And then on the outside of the mat, it looks like Tushisvili gets the counter. But in this situation, I mean, we all know what happens. Whoever starts the technique generally gets the score. But I just think this Uchimata attempt was really weak. And Tushishvili totally made the choice to step in there and try and counter him. Unfortunate. Up against Granda in the final. And gets this nice Jujigatame. And he's pretty excited about that one. So Kropalik, probably one of the favorites at plus 100s to take gold at Paris. Teddy Renier, Kropalik. Saito, a couple other guys as well. 
Tushishvili, maybe. Probably not as consistent as those other guys. Now, Tushishvili, he took one of the bronze medals. Nice combination there. Now, the other one went to Kone from Germany. And have a look at this technique. Absolutely amazing. Utsurigoshi. Not a technique you see often at plus 100s. I mean, have a look at that. Just unbelievable power and strength and technique to get him over. Yeah. Moving on to the ladies now, and we'll start with under 78. Oleg, she ended up taking out Kurchenko. Really impressive driving Uchigari there. For the bronze medals, Prodan took out Wada from Japan. Can't say I do know who Wada is, but there's definitely been a theme at this Grand Prix in Austria. Japan sending out a lot of kind of young guys, new guys to the field. So they definitely got a lot of experience, I think. Now, Litvinenko. She's that super tall Ukrainian judoka using her length here with a nice uchimata. She's still very young as well, so I definitely think she's going to be a force in that weight category. We'll probably see her moving up from bronze medals to silver and then eventually gold. Souza, she ended up throwing her opponent twice in the final, which is good to see at plus 78. Sometimes I'm a little bit critical of plus 78 because they don't often end up throwing each other a lot of the time. So silver for camps, and then over the bronze medals we had Zabik from Serbia and Ortiz, oh, Ortiz going through and taking a bronze medal as well. So that's it guys, I'll see you soon for the Toppy Ponds. Peace, have a good one.